Hi everyone, I'm Michael Gordon. As I film this, we're still digesting the details of the budget. It's not one that can be wrapped up in one simple soundbite, so I'm just going to focus on a few things in particular that were of interest to us. Firstly, the government's accounts remain in pretty good shape. While the balance isn't expected to return to surplus for another three years, the debt requirements look quite manageable. It's all well in line with the new fiscal rules that the government set out a few weeks ago, which provide a bit more flexibility while still maintaining some discipline around spending. That said, it's still early days for this framework and there is still a risk of slippage in the future. As an example, we saw a massive $13 billion allocation to healthcare spending over the next four years. Now that took up not only the biggest chunk of this year's spending allowance, but also a large part of the allowance for next year's budget too. And that would imply that every other department's funding demands are going to have to be squeezed into an even tighter cap in next year's budget. We'll see if they hold to that. Secondly, the budget details don't really make a difference for our view of the economy. The government spending plans were signalled well in advance, at least in terms of the dollar amounts. One thing that was no doubt a more recent addition was a cost of living relief package. And that includes payments to lower income households, kind of like the winter energy payment, but for the economic chill of rising prices instead. We've also seen the cuts to fuel tax and road user charges will be extended for another two months. Those things will help to prop up consumer spending through the middle part of this year, but it's a pretty short lived boost. And finally, the economic forecasts that underpinned this budget were quite different from our view in some ways. In particular, the Treasury is expecting some very high inflation over the next few years. Now, this is not just a, an argument around whether the Reserve Bank is going to do its job with controlling inflation. The rate of inflation also has a big impact on the tax take and therefore how much will be in the kitty to fund the government's ambitions. No doubt we're going to have more to say about this, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.